Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at inserting a bar chart or a column chart in Microsoft Word. Now I have some data here in a table and I want to insert a chart in here. Now what Microsoft Word and Excel call a column chart, you might sort of read as a bar chart. They're just the same sort of chart. They just point different ways. We're going to create one of them. It's easy enough to create the second. You're going to start by placing your indicator here where you want the chart to appear and then go up to the Insert tab and come across here to Chart. And here you can choose the type of chart that you want. Now this is what Microsoft Excel and Word call a column chart. You might call it a bar chart. What they call a bar chart is one that just goes horizontally. So choose which one you want. They're going to be created in pretty much the same way. I'm going to create a column chart. So I'm just going to click on this one. It's a nice simple chart. I understand it. Never choose a chart that you don't understand. So it's just a simple one to go into my document. I'll click OK. Now it's appearing inside my document but it's bringing a whole lot of data with it and that's not the data I want to use. So I'm just going to click here in my document and select my data. Right click here and I'm just going to click Copy. Then I'm going to come into this little table of information. I'm going to click in the topmost cell because I want to replace everything here. I'll right click and just choose paste. Now that's pasted the two columns and the headings here, but we end up with an extra column that was in the original data. We don't need it. So I'm just going to click on that column again, right click and we'll just click here on delete and that just removes that column. So this is our data. At this stage, we don't need that anymore unless we need to edit the document. So if later on you discover that your figures are incorrect and this one here should actually be 20,000, then let's just go in here and make this 20,000. Now the data is not connected between the table here and the chart, so we're going to have to change the chart as well. So I'm going to click on the chart, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Edit Data. And that takes me back into this table where I can go ahead now and change the data here. So it's just really important to understand that the data in this case and the chart themselves are not tied together. So if you make a change to your own data, you will need to update your chart. Now everything looks a bit weirdly spaced here. I'm just going to right click on one of these bars and choose Format Data Series. Now this gives me access to series options and this is the one I want here the one that actually reads series options. And what I want to do is change the overlap. So I've got a really big gap width here so I'm going to reduce it. And that's widening up the bars here. Now this is the series overlap which I can also reduce if I want to. So I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. So these are joined together or fairly close together because they read together. This is about the West Office. So this is quarter one and quarter two. We'd like this gap to be bigger and this one to be smaller. Now the other thing I want to do is make my colors look a bit better. So I'm going to select this orange one, right click. And again, if I wasn't already doing so, I would choose Format Data Series or I can just come here to Fill and I can change the fill on this particular one. So I'm going to make it a better colour. Now at any stage if these options here disappear all you need to do is to click back on your chart and then right click and you can get access to whatever is available. Now I clicked on the plot area so I'm getting format plot area. If I click on here then I get format chart area. If I click on one of these bars here I get to format the data series and that's that particular data series. Now I can also change the chart title or I could remove it so it would be up to me to do whatever I wanted. I'm just going to type a new chart title and you can see it's nicely centered. Now if we want our legend to be a little bit larger I can click in it here and I'm just going up to the home tab of the ribbon I'm just going to increase the font size here and I could do that here for this legend as well and for this one. And of course I would want to go ahead then and to save my document so that the chart is saved inside the document. Again if I need to make changes at any time I will need to click on the chart to target it and then the right 
click menu is going to show me options that relate to the chart. I'm also going to get access to these options which allow us to do things such as turn chart elements on or off and to change the formatting style of the chart but I've gone ahead and made my own style so I don't want to change it. This one here is going to give us layout options which will control how text is wrapped around our object here and you probably don't want text to be wrapped around it so I would choose top and bottom to keep the text well away from my chart because I don't want it wrapping around in this area here. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.